you see how it can actually track things in three dimensions? We're using information from the camera to work out the three-dimensional scene. And again, that becomes completely interactive. Now, you can imagine I'm not having to use search engines, I'm not using URLs, I'm not using keywords anymore. I'm interacting with the real world and dropping virtual information in. So here's a newspaper. I just hold it up to a newspaper. And actually, the actor from the film turns up and starts telling me about the film. Very cool there, Johnny English. And uh, there you go. <laughs> and again, I can just book tickets straight off. I'm not doing anything here, not pressing anything, because it's Idol's intelligence that's understanding the information. So, for example, Fashion Week. The other interesting thing here is that the results are not lists of words. We're going to see results and information um, presented in a very different way. This is a, a, a little pet that uh, I sometimes like to take with me. Um, this is my pet dinosaur. This is a 3D dinosaur. The important thing is that that's actually a packet of information that I can interact with. I can do things. If I had time, I could uh, start interacting with that and learn about that dinosaur and all that sort of thing. So really what I'm trying to do is say, thank you very much, Matt. If we go back to the slideshow. You are all 